you're behaving as if you're not bothered. I mean, why would they release him with such an overwhelming evidence against them? Ah, uh, what can we do? It goes to show the kind of um, system we have in our country, you know? And successive government is not doing anything about it. <laughs> so as it is, the, the laws are for some people and um, some other persons are comprehensively above the law. <laughs> so it is what it is. We cannot, we cannot continue like this. We can't allow things to continue like this, boss. We cannot, but you also have to be very careful not to take laws into your hands. Be careful. Be careful. So you don't spoil your own case. Huh? But I know for sure that um, Ibuigwe is going to fall into my trap. And I'm going to treat that man like a common criminal. Boss, you see what baffles me most is that our king is doing nothing about this. You never can tell who he's working for. Maybe the king. No. No, boss, you didn't just say that. <laughs> I'm telling you the honest truth, though. Why would you say this? Why, why would I not say this? Our king is an intelligent man. He would never <laughs> reduce himself to the level of associating with a, a criminal. No, now. All right. I've heard you now. I'm not pointing fingers at the king. I'm not saying it's the king or maybe not the king. But the truth is, um, there are questions to be asked. I mean, how else? Do you explain that that man is able to sell community land and just go scot? Do you know how much that imbecile has made on community lands? Do you have an idea? For all you know, he's fronting for someone. Oh yes, and that is why nobody is saying anything. Look at it this way. With all that he's been doing in this town, how come he has nothing to show for it? Apart from that SUV that he drives, Nothing. So you see, it naturally follows that he's fronting for someone. The money is going somewhere else, not directly to him. Think about it. And also see the way he just got bailed immediately. Also, huh? we are connecting the dots now. I've not thought about this this way. Good. <laughs> Boss, if this is true, then we are done. We are finished. My sentiments, exactly. Oh. Give me that cloth. Give me that cloth. Give me that cloth. Share my one. I am not giving it to you. Why? Why would you give my clothes? Your mate paid their sister to shopping. Now you cannot leave this over. used clothes for me. Can you imagine this girl? Can you imagine this girl? Mama, Mama, what happened? Why, why are you crying? Mama, what is it? They love my show. I would like get money to take care of you too. I didn't mind the mama we do. Mama, who locked your shop and why did they lock it? Listen, you see those boys that are moving around, stealing businesses. They are my boys. And they are covered by my immunity in this town. And let me tell you something that you don't know. Any business they have sealed, that business remains sealed until the person who owns the business pays what he or she must pay. Listen to me. I am not in the mood to argue with anybody. If you feel that I don't have what it takes to issue immunity to anybody in this town where I am already in charge, then do anything stupid and then you will discover a bulldozer in your compound tomorrow, leveling everything. And there is nothing you or anybody can do. Tell them to pay what they must pay. That is very simple. If they don't want to pay, then they should shut up or wait for me. Yeah. 
Mama, please just calm down. Calm down and tell us exactly what happened. I was in the shop when some youths on every way's instruction barged into the shop. They say we have not been paying Levy for the past 15 years. So we owe them about 235,000 naira. What? 200 and? How is that even possible? He said your father has not been paying, so I inherited the debt. What sort of nonsense is that? Are they the ones meant to collect the levy? Yes, I asked around. They said they have been the ones collecting it. The company has not been doing that. Where do they expect us to get such amount of money from? Eberi, just calm down. There must be a way out. No. This is illegal. This is sheer wickedness and extreme intimidation. But we will find a way to deal with it. How? When? I'm afraid my mother will have a heart attack if she stays at home doing nothing. Don't worry, Uche here can help your mother. Hopefully, it won't take time. Is that not so, Uche? Uh, yes, yes. Um, actually, we are working on something, okay? It seems as though we are a conquered people. But we are not. We can never be. For how long will you continue to do this? It's your shop that was locked, not your life. And without that shop, we are finished. That shop is our only hope. We both know that was the only thing your father left for us. That is where we get our livelihood. That is where I sustain you both. Where do we go from here? Still, Mama, you can't cry all day, every day. Everything will be fine. Everything will be all right. How? When? How will everything be fine in this circumstance? I spoke with Uche. He said he'll do something. <laughs> what will Uche do? What can he do? Pay the money? There's so much a man who has been provoked can do. What we need to do is to lend him our support as much as we can. Have you found out what the problem is? Oh, well, my king, I, I have. Um, I have, uh, uh, I'd like to say, Your Majesty, that it's really not in my character to to condemn another electrician's work, but uh, what I found out was, was too much. He was sounding as though everything is bad there. It is really bad, my king. 
as it stands right now, will have to change. The entire wiring system was terribly done. The, the truth is that what I found out was that they used very substandard cables uh, to do the wiring system and it has to be changed else we run the risk of having that place going up in flames anytime soon. I gave them 4.7 million naira to buy those wires. How can they buy substandard wires for me? Great. Great, Your Majesty, that happens to be uh, <laughs> our biggest problem in this part of the world, Great. That's okay. So what do we do to, to solve this problem so that uh, there will be proper light at the new complex? Uh, what I have done is to um, disconnect the entire complex from the mains. And I also spoke with the complex manager. I told him not to allow any um, solar power to come into the complex now until we change the entire um, wiring unit. I also told him that we cannot use generators there for now, just for safety. So that's where we are now. It's okay. I, I, I think I would want you to give me a quotation. Okay. I want that job to be done immediately. It's fine, my king. You'll hear from me soon. Beautiful Eberi, you demanded audience with me and uh, and you have been sitting here without saying anything. I told you already. You should feel very free with me because we are now working together. If there is anything you want me to do, open up and tell me and let me tell you something. Before you even say it, consider it done. Yeah? Please, sir. Um, I want you to please... Open up my mother's shop. I know she owes you some money. But if you open it, she can start to sell and pay you back in bits. <laughs> Please. Hey, better you know it yourself. That even if your mother should sell every single thing she has in that shop, she will still not be able to pay what she owes. Yeah. Oh, you know what? First thing tomorrow morning, I will open that shop for your mother and for you. Well, let her not pay anything. Everything waived. Are you? Uh, are you serious? You will open up the shop, and we don't have to pay anything. I was well, who locked it in the first place. I can always open it. Oh, thank you. And I will open it tomorrow. God bless you. Uh, but thank that you. is going to happen only on one condition. Ebere, you are going to become my wife. It is already said that I am going to emerge the next king of our new abom in my kingdom. You will accept to be the one who will sit with me as my queen when I become the king. Once you accept to do this, everything is okay. That's it. So, what? You heard me. And I mean every word I just said. Eh? Take, take a sip and it will give me an assurance that we are now working together. Chizara! Does it occur to you that I am your elder? Why do you like insulting me? I'm asking you, why do you like insulting me? Wait, are you expecting an answer? Listen, listen. You're not a good friend to my sister. And I will continue to ward you off until you lay common sense. What? Small sense. Oh, sister. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? And what are you doing here with this um, piece of disturbance? What? A berry. So this is a conspiracy. So you conspired with your sister to insult me, a berry. Oh, you think I'm now jobless? No problem. You know that's not what I mean. You know you're welcome to my house anytime. This is it. So people will not just stay in their house. They will be looking for one or two places to gossip. Stay in your house, blessing. It's obvious your house is just in you. What is it? Please, 
ignore her. No problem. See, Barry, I'm here because I had a dream. And in that dream, you were so happy. Look, Eberi, I will advise you exercise some patience. Ignore whatever distraction that's coming now and wait for the happy ending. Oh, you and this your dream. Anyway, thank you. Huh? Wait, before you go, help me tell your sister that I can stay in my father's house and I am not jobless. You sound as if you don't know your brother anymore. He goes to club every night. And this time you just saw the land. He will not even come back. He has already become my husband. I have no choice. Why I will not leave him is because despite all his nonsense, he has never raised his hand on me. Yes. He said I should return to Mbo, but I refused. He just ignored me. I know a lot of men that will beat their wife because of that. I don't know what he's up to. I don't know. But whatever it is, I am ready to find out. I am not going anywhere. I want to know what my husband is hiding. You know, it has dawned on me that I don't have a choice. I have to marry him. Iberi, you will do no such thing. You cannot do that because you have a choice. Well, I don't want to see my mother cry every night. What if her blood pressure rises? I can't afford for anything to happen to her. There must be another way out. Which is? I don't know. But you don't have to marry that animal. So what's the other way? I don't know yet. I wish I can do something. I wish I can make all this go away. I can't bear to watch you marry that animal. You have to get used to it too. Because I will marry him. and watch a bear get married to a baby. We have to do something. Okay, um, babe. What do you suggest we do now? I don't know yet. I just want to help her. See, I would love to help her too, okay? But right now, like, I mean, between you and I, yeah? I don't get planned. Okay, what if you tell her, Mom? Tell him everything. Maybe he will help. Please don't go there. Huh? Let's not involve that guy. Aban just won a contract with the king. And he, he has decided to face his business. Moving forward, people move. But he's dreaming of a future with a berry. I know he loves her. Don't you think a man can go all out if he loves a girl? Babe, why are you pushing for this? Well, that's the only thing that comes to my mind right now. Sister, do you have a minute? Since when? You're not in a good mood. Are you not going to fill me in? She's out, please. 
say what you want to say. I am not in the mood for this, your cunning ways at all. Sister, I want you to look into the big picture. You cannot end up with a character like Ebuigwe. He may be good to so many people, but not for my born and only sister. Never. Are you blind? Can you not see what is happening? Do you want Mama to continue to cry every day from morning till night? Do you want her blood pressure to increase? Even those that called the police have him asked to go to Egbigwe for help. He has held this entire village hostage. What do you want me to do? And because of that, he, he wants to make you his wife. Second wife for that matter. Second wife, sister. That will never happen. You see that mama's shop? Let it go. We cannot let manage. You don't need to let that so-called baby make you his second wife. Well, I've made up my mind. And nothing or no one can change it. That means somehow you are beginning to love him. Because I know you. You cannot settle with a man you don't love. And sister, with all the Eberi, with a man like up and dying for you, you want to end up with that character like Ebuigwe. Sister, you need to have a rethink. I am trying very hard to understand this. I mean, are you equally amongst the people I need to deal with for me to have unhindered access to my man? And who is your man? Akban. <laughs> you are living in fool's paradise and you know it. Let me tell you the truth. Akban told me that I'm the only woman he sees. So you and Eberi, you are just fooling yourselves. What? Akban is interested in you too? How is that possible? I mean, what did they see in a, in a low life like you? Huh? He... Look at Amakao. You are the one who is a low life. Wait, have you forgotten you are dating a big way? A married man. What do you think Abba would do with a character like you? Eh? Leave my compound. I said, leave my. Leave. Leave my compound now before I. I thank goodness. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up first. What, what are you thanking goodness for? Will you shut up? Thank which goodness that I am here. Huh? See, I, what, what did I just hear? Can someone explain? Start talking! Thank goodness you are here. Uh -huh. Please, can you explain to this thing that Akpan is a classy man mm -hmm. and will have nothing to do with a leftover like her? Okay. And can you please tell this classless Mimi mm -hmm. that Akpan is a responsible man mm -hmm. and we never have anything to do with a low life like she that cannot take care of herself. Will you both shut up your stupid and dirty mouths? Enough of this nonsense. Huh? Are you not ashamed of yourselves? Beautiful maidens of Enuago Mimi insulting themselves because of a man from Ikota Abase. What a disgrace. Where are your dignities? Eh? Where is the pride of Enuabu Mimi? A man who has taken his stand. Shame on both of you. See, you can invent insults and disgrace yourselves for all I care. It's none of my business. I came here to uh, uh, look for Mama. Is your mother around? Because. Uh, uh, Mama? Mama? Are you not going What's the meaning of this? Eh? What's the meaning of this? Eh? Sister, you're not going anywhere. I will never allow you to marry that idiot of a man. Will you survive with or without Mama's shop? Zara, where did you say your mother is? Eh? She, she should be doing this thing with us. She went How can a girl do, do, do this? She went to my uncle's place. The sooner you girls allow me, go where I want to go. 
the better for all of us. <laughs> Besides, this is my life. I can do whatever I want to do with it. Did you tell your mother about a various plan to be a second wife to a tout? She begged me not to say anything about it for now. She would do it herself. <laughs> Eberi, Eberi, Eberi. I don't know what has gotten over you. I, but I promise you, you will regret it if you do it. Bet me. Sister, you don't have to do this. I mean, we can start hawking to support Mama. <laughs> Sister. Eberi, Eberi, you will regret this thing. Bet me, you will regret it. <laughs> Ah, Iberi. <laughs> okay. Beautiful Ebere, the number one, the sweet woman. Beautiful Ebere Shuku, the highest of them all. I know you will change your mind. Smart, intelligent girl. Please, come and sit down here. My number one, Edigo Richard, now. Can you hear me? I'm fine, sir. Yeah, it's Bob Made. Not in. You want to get married to a berry, right? Yes, my love. And let me tell you something. I'm not planning to marry you and make you a regular wife like all these regular wives people are marrying in this land. No. I want to make you the envy of all the women in this land. It is already sealed that I'm going to be the next king of our neighbor my kingdom. I am going to make you the next queen of this land. And you are going to be above everybody. Nah, <laughs> Kuboli. That is who you are. That is where you belong. Hey, big way. Yeah, my love, my love. Not only are you married, you are also a tout. You steal from people with the backing of the authorities. You not only steal people's happiness, you steal their joy. You are a terrorist. And you think that I, Eberechiko, the daughter of Eziafa Kego Mwokoye, will marry you? Nice. You lie. Go back into your dreams and tell those who told you in your dream that you can be king, that they have lied. You can never be king in any abominable kingdom. Sister, do you know you're just a very definition of a complex character? Well, I've learned never to say everything on my mind. I'm quite surprised that with all your gifted senses, special senses, and all the senses that you have, you didn't see that I would never be caught dead with a character like Igwigwe. Come on, sister. You don't have to blame me. The seriousness you showed when you said it was just very convincing. Imagine that idiot in his wildest dream, believing he will be my brother in law. God forbid. Saran, please, enough. Enough. Let's discuss something important. Eberi, I'm very glad you made the right choice. But there is something we need to revisit. Mm. Yes. And what's that? Why not say yes to Abban now that things are like this? Maybe he can help. Wait, so 
This is your smart plan. This is what she could come up with. Yes. I am not comfortable with what I heard about the election. Why did you interfere? Because there will be no election. It's as simple as that. Why are you looking confused? Maybe good. Why would you even say something like that? See, what you are saying is capable of collapsing our entire democratic structure in our, in our moment. Is that not better? Of course, that is better. Democracy is not our thing. It just... It got imposed on us. And the more we try to practice it, the more it dawns on us that it is actually destroying the deep-rooted administrative structure of our new apartment. Therefore, we should destroy the democracy and go back to what works in our system. Listen, the original constitution uh -huh. said the, the youth leader must be elected every two years. You came in and single-handedly changed it to six years. Now, after your tenor, you don't want to organize elections. Why? I don't understand. Am I a madman? How can I organize the election when I know they will vote me out? It's not going to be possible. Listen to me. The election has been put on hold by me. I will stay in office until the end of the next eight years. Wait. You intend to stay there for 20 years? Yes, that's what it means. And do you have a problem with that? Of course! I will stay there for 20 years, and after 20 years, I will then organize the election and hand over to anybody who is available. By that time, I am done. Hey, baby. Please, 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 don't ever say this outside. The people may revolt against you, please. And who are the people that will revolt against me? Let them try it now. Listen, I am already a god in this Awenu Abomeme, and whatsoever I decide stands. If you are the person that would vote against me, put that in there. You can say blue Bible, no, no, Go on again. You can say blue Bible, no. We're not going to go again. You can Say whatever you want and get out of this place. I know you think. I don't have anything good to say to you. You think I'm with Amaka and I hate you. But to be honest, that's not true. Say whatever it is that brought you here and leave. Well, I'm here to apologize for lying to you and for ganging up against you. It was all Amaka's doing. She convinced me to lie to you so she could get whatever she wanted. Please, I was a fool to have allowed her to fool me. Please, forgive me. You know I chased you out the last time you came here. Because I don't want anybody gossiping about Amaka to me. I hope that's not what you have come to do again. No, I'm not here to talk about Amaka. I'm here to tell you the truth about Akwan. <laughs> There's no need for that. I already know Akwan is a womanizer. That's not true. In fact, Akwan never bought any gifts for me. And he never asked me out or any of the women that claimed Akman was asking them out. That was all lies. You're confusing me. Can I at least come in? Thank you. When Akban came into this land, all the women were lost in after him, including Amaka and I. We did everything possible to gain his attention, including calling him to fix some minor electric efforts. But all our efforts were in vain because he never noticed us the way we wanted. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Chizara. You and I both know that you're not looking for anything. Please go inside. This is not a good time. It's okay. If you don't mind, Chizam can stay. Chizam and I are now friends and there is nothing wrong if she can be listening to everything I have to say. Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> it's okay. We did all we could, but that one only saw us as clients. Some of us died making passes at him. Some started declaring their interest to be his girlfriend. But he turned all of us down. We became angry and vowed to tarnish his image so that no woman in this land will ever agree to date him. I said it. I knew it that my gifted sense will never disappoint me. So wait. You mean he never asked the girls out? He never did, for once. Wait, oh, Mimi, what about that so-called Amaka? <laughs> that one, her own is the worst. Do you know that Amaka goes about the village, telling everyone that cares to know that she's in a relationship with Akpa? She even goes about spoiling her light every week so that Akpa will come to her house and fix it. I knew it. Women, are we just the do ourselves? I'm personally thinking that this is not the best way to handle this. I have lost a good man. I can't believe this. A man who loved me, who cared for me genuinely. This is sad. This is so sad. Sister, I believe it's not too late yet. He still loves you. I am sure you don't need to beat yourself up about this. It's not your fault. It is my fault. It is my fault for I should have gone out to find out the truth for myself. There is no need for this right now. We should be talking of a way to win him back. Do you think he will ever want me back? We just have to try first. Why are you defending him? I am your sister from the same town. You should be defending me and not a stranger. Biamaka, you call him a stranger, yet you are dying for him. See, I do not want to have these conversations ever again with you because I'm ashamed. Ashamed of what? Ashamed that maidens of my beloved Enua Bomimi are falling head over heels in love with a man who has made his stance known. How do you mean he has made his stance known? I am the one he loves and you know it yourself. Hmm? Did he tell you this himself? How can he tell me? When the useless medians in this town cannot allow him to do the right thing. See, I saw him walking somewhere and I seized the opportunity to Come meet you so that you can help me as a brother. Okay. Uh, it's okay. Huh? Uh, are the girls say so? Are you in a hurry? Um, no. Why do you ask? <laughs> Sit down and wait for him. He will soon be back. Perhaps you might just be lucky today. I know. Hi! I like the sound of that. Mm. Uh, 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 what and what do you want me to do when he comes in? Snow White of our community. <laughs> uh, 
<clears throat> do not disappoint me. Do not disappoint me by telling me that you're also dying for Akban. Mm -mm. Hey, why should I die for a stranger? Mm -hmm. Be Kokwa. You know the class I operate. Hey, Agwan. Agwan. The ego. See, eh? Blah, blah. This is the best thing I have heard in this community today. If only that a low life amaka would develop this same level of class, respect, discipline, and self control. A new bombing would be wonderful. Uche. Hmm? Uche. Must you mention Amaka in this discussion? Must you? I am disappointed in Amaka. Huh? Hmm. Do you know Bigwe? That charlatan. That married man mm -hmm. takes Amaka in her father's house. Enuabo mi mi nemo. Huh? Are you serious about this? I think I want mad. I am serious. Hi. And that useless Amaka still had the guts to give herself to happen today, today, today. Eh? Is it I don't know. Hey! Hey! Did you see that Amaka gave herself to Akban? I don't understand. Please explain. What do you mean by that? It is a blessing. I am a man that is interested in knowing what happens in our land. Do you mean to say that Ebuigwe is digging it out and in with Amaka? <laughs> no, tell me, tell me hey, something. Hey, Uche. Hmm? I am more interested in what you just said now. You said she gave herself to Aban. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to know. Did she give herself to Aban in his house or in his shop? So, how do I look? Do you look good? Do you think this is a good idea? Don't tell me you're beginning to change your mind again. But what's the difference between those women throwing themselves at him and me? You're just trying to give him a chance for him to show you how he feels about you. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And what if he rejects me like I did to him? You keep trying. Yes, you keep trying like he did. At least you need to feel a bit of what he felt when, when you were rejecting him. Can you please stop rubbing this in? My sister is going somewhere important and she don't need any delay. Hmm. Um, she's around. You're not my mouthpiece. Look. Blessing. You're welcome. Hmm. Look, eh? I'm not here to disturb anybody. I am simply angry. Please, let me vent my anger in peace. Mm -mm. Chalo. So you did not vent your anger along the road as you are coming? Why must it be in this compound? Look, I will just ignore you, a berry. If I tell you that I'm happy with you, eh, I am lying. How would you reject Aban? Hey, Aban of all people, every woman's dream, a berry. How would you reject Aban? Eh? Well, let's just say we all make mistakes. I made mine, and I'm on my way to go correct it. Yes, in fact, that is where she is going to. And she does not need any form of delay. And as you are here now, you're delaying. Shut up! I don't understand. I'm on my way to Akpan's workshop to um to see if he still has a space for me. <laughs> you are going to Akpan's shop, my dear. The meeting is too late now. Guess who I saw with Akpan? I saw Akpan and Amaka in a compromised position. 
they are obviously dating. You can see how Amaka was all over him, smooching and touching him. Nee, it's too late for you. In fact, I was I was crying. I felt bad. Blessing, you're not serious about it, right? What do you want me to do? Just speak to her, one. I know that he still loves a berry. How do you know? <laughs> oh God. This is my problem with women, right? All of you. Not one less. All of you are gullible. I mean, not knowing where to take a stand or when. Don't insult my gender. Just because I'm asking a favor from you. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm sorry. But on a more serious note, babe, based on what I know here, eh, I don't think Aban would want to go back on that lane again. Speak with him first. You never can tell. Yes, ma'am. Now, what is it now? Why are you looking at what, what, what else do you want me to do? Listen, I have done everything that I know in the book, okay? But you were there. Are you going to tell me that I have not tried the best that I can to show a belly that I want her to be in my life, that I love her? Did I not do my best? But clearly her mind is somewhere else, so let her go. Let me be. Must be coming down. Huh? Women will be women. You know, women and their chakra now. Ah, please, I cannot keep waiting now. Shakara for how long? I can't keep waiting. I have to move on. I can't keep waiting. You want somebody and the person does not want to love you back? What do you want me to do? Boss, are you serious with the moving on? I don't understand. What, you think I'm joking, eh? I'm serious. Very serious. Set for anything less. Anyway, you there, people they fear. Even the waters they drive for your sake. People in pain, eyes filled with tears. One day the water for ground will cry. One day the sun will shine. Everything a matter of time. Settle for anything less. Anyway, you there, people they fear. Even the waters they drive for your sake. People in pain, eyes filled with tears. One day the water for ground will dry. One day the sun will shine. Everything a matter of time. My beautiful queen. Sweet girl. Hey, baby, what are you doing here? You know, I was very angry the way you spoke to me the other day. <laughs> and that's why I decided to leave you. But then again, I realized that 
you were not with your right frame of mind when you spoke. You know, I realized maybe you didn't wake up from the right side of the bed. And therefore I decided to forgive you. Leave my house. I said leave my house. Ebere, I came bearing gifts. Very expensive gifts. And I... They are for you. These gifts are to make you understand that I, I have not just forgiven you by mere words of mouth. I am backing it with gifts. So you will take it and realize that I have forgiven you completely. So you may take these things. Understand that all those things you said, they are gone. I will no longer use them against you. To hell with you and your gifts. Leave my house and leave me alone, Egbigwe. In fact, you may be Egbigwe to those who regard you as your thunder, but to me, I don't see you. Stop this nonsense. Stop this nonsense because the next time, I'll be forced to lose it and give it to you in return. Come on, This girl. You will give it to me in return. Look at this girl. Well, it is only the one I love that will speak to me in this manner and still live to see tomorrow. I need an answer. I need a yes or no answer. My sister does not know that I am here. If she finds out, she will kill me. But I needed to do this. You needed to do what? Do you still love my sister? I don't understand. What exactly don't you understand? Love or sister? I don't understand why you have asked me that question. Um, I need a straight answer. You are an intelligent man, and I am sure you understand what I mean. Atman, do you still love my sister? I told you not to go there. But you insisted your stupid gifted sense asked you to. But I had to, at least now we've known the truth. Now he's feeling all important, like I'm one of those women chasing him. Please just, just leave me alone, I don't want to think of any of that now. How can you think of anything? Do you even have sense at all? Not to talk of a gifted one. Plus, are you going to claim you don't know that the police department in Awainua bombed me? They still have data of the very person your brother killed. They have it. But I covered up that case, took your brother on bail, sent him to Mpo, because I wouldn't want any young man of this land to be killed or, or, or to be jailed. Are you not aware that is what I did? Sir, sir, I'm aware. But my family and I have been grateful to you. Remember, so was the work you sent him that led to that. Will you just shut up? The last thing the last to go and kill anybody. I sent him to go and collect my money. Money he would have collected had he been he played the game how the game should be played. But he decided to go and show himself. And he killed the young man. Did I ask him to kill the young man? It was an accident. He didn't do it on purpose. Eh. Okay, so would you want us to open the case and allow the court to decide if it's a purpose or not? No, sir. Sir, please. I don't want anything to happen to my brother. Anything you want, I will do it. Please, sir. <laughs> Good. Uh -huh. It simply means I am going to give specific instruction to my men in Mbo. Mbo, where I sent your brother, where I got him established and where he is doing well. I will ask my boys to locate him and waste him. 
And when I waste anybody, that person is completely wasted. Hey, please, uh, don't waste my brother. Anything you want me to do, I will do it. Just tell me, I will do it. Please don't waste him. What I know now is, God will send you your own man someday. I'm trying very hard to believe that. I mean, how can I be so stupid? How can one believe everything she was told hook, line and sinker without trying to find out the truth? That is very silly. I agree. But you don't need to kill yourself. Another better man will come for you. For goodness sake, Aban is just a man of Ikoto Abasi. He should not cause you sleepless nights. You've made your point. Please don't overflog it. that you have something to say to me. I want to hear it. Who told you that? I am the one. I have a small confession. Atman wanted to follow me home when I went to his shop. He couldn't wait to see you when I told him that you like him and ready to be with him. But I told him we couldn't make it that easy for you. I'm sorry for playing with your emotion. So, you wait for me. What if we See how beautiful you look. Like this? have made me so happy. You don't even know. Now I feel like a complete man because you have said yes. I am going to show you love like you have never experienced. Come on now, smile if you want to smile. Yeah? Come here. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. So, what do you have for me? She is in a relationship with Aban, and she seems to love him a lot. Which Aban? The Leticia from Ikota Abbas. It's a lie. Wait, wait. Are you telling me the truth? I don't believe that. Aban! That dog from Ekota Ekotabas feels he can come into this land and have a woman who is giving him the impetus. I mean the morale. Where is he coming from? Are you telling me the truth? Yes, sir. Why? Why didn't you tell me? Why now? Huh? Why? You should have at least said something. So if Uche did not tell me, I wouldn't know that my woman is having some troubles in this town. No, now, come on. I didn't want to bother you. I'm sorry. Bother me? What are you talking about, darling? You're my woman. So your trouble becomes mine automatically. It is fine. Huh? Now I know about this, so I'm going to take charge and I'll do what I'm supposed to do. Stop worrying yourself about it. Huh? It be weighs a small meat. I'll handle it. Yeah? And where is my beautiful Elizabeth going with a bag? Elizabeth, I asked the question. Where are you going with a bag? And what would I be doing here? 
I am finally going back to work to mind my business so you can have all the time to live your life the way you want to. Please, Elizabeth, you really need to calm down. There is no way I will allow you to live with this bottled animosity. It is going to be very unfair for you to go back to Mpo and feed my children with lies. I have not sent you out. I still love you. Listen, I decided to marry a second wife because I need to be married to a woman from this, our kingdom. For me to stand the chance to become the king of this land someday. I cannot be a king when I am married to a woman from outside. That is it. Why can't you understand it? But you are not yet a king. But I am going to be. Everything is already settled. That this man here is going to be the next king of this kingdom. And you will still remain the first wife of the king. You see it? 